All right, what up, what up? It's your boy, So So Boston. I'm back real quick. Part two of the uh, heat press review video I'm doing on the uh, auto claim heat presses. I wanted to do another another review real quick, a part two, just because I have um a lot of experience using the 16 by 16. So I wanted to give you guys, you know, just a quick um update and a review on what I think, you know, between this one and the other model. If you watched the last video, I appreciate it. And uh, real quick, please go like and subscribe. If you're watching this video from the last one, I really appreciate it. Anybody checking out my work and my content, I really appreciate it. Um, trying to build the channel up, so please like, subscribe, share, let your peoples know about anybody interested in praying or already praying. Drop some comments. Let me know what I should improve on as far as um, my video content, edit, stuff like that. I don't have no fancy intros or none of that. But anyway, let's get right to it. Um, the 16 by 16 overall, I think is a great heat press. It's well built, real sturdy, just like the other video. If you watched it, this isn't screwed into the table, but this is a real sturdy heat press. It's not lightweight. I don't like lightweight heat presses. I don't like the um, you know, the real thin frames that you could damn near bend all up. See these guns right here? I I, I bend them up. You know what I mean? I, I got to do a real a real strong test on them. Make sure everything's nice and nice and sturdy. That's how I like them. All the features that are on the 16 by 20 are also on the 16 by 16. You could do the uh, heat setting. You could do the double um, timing. Set the time to do the quick heat press and then do the actual heat press. It has the um, adjustable um, pressure right here and it'll do the readout on the screen. Just like I said in the other video, I think they should do a touch screen. 2022, come on guys, get it together. Y'all let me know what y'all think, but anyway. This is a great piece of machinery. I got over, I want to say, 10 plus years dealing with this company and dealing with these specific models of, that they have. And I can vouch and say that you will get at least a five-year run without no issue if you're taking care of it. As long as you're taking care of this, you're wiping it down, um, you're not beating it up, you know, swinging it everywhere and, and um, you know, putting it in your car, transferring it around. And you can't do that. You can't bring this from A to B point a to b to c but just do it with ease you know put it in there right strap it in do what you got to do um it comes with the the locking clip that you put right here whatever keep the boxes and all of that so if you need to do a show on the road or anything like that do it the right way and this is going to last you years on in i could vouch and say that because i got a lot of experience like i said i got 10 plus years with this company um if you're asking me should you get the 16 by 16 over the 16 by 20 uh, which one's better? I can't say either one is. The 16 by 20 is obviously better because you get more more space. You get a little bit more space on that extra few inches at the top. And the accessories that you can buy with the 16 by 20 um, is definitely going to beat you on the 16 by 16. If you're just doing basic print though, front, um, sleeves, maybe some back. If you can see here, I got some side prints, and this is all screen print, right? Screen print transfers or whatever. Yo, this is gonna get it done. You, no problem. You can get it. You can get all the work. This same T-shirt, I did this right off of this one right here. So you can get the work done. Like I said, you can do sides, front, back, sleeves, everything. You can do that right off of here. That would make it easier if you start buying the accessories. And um, 16 by 16, you can buy accessories as well. So make sure you look into that. All of this is going to get more space. But um, I had to do a part two just because I got a lot more experience with this one. And I figured why not. I already, I already did a review on the first one. So overall, this is a great one. I highly suggest it if you got a small shop or you're a startup. I highly suggest you looking into this company, Stars Hotronics. Um, look into the smaller version. They got a smaller version. I think it's 15 inches. That'll do you just fine, no problem. Regular adult prints is about eight to eight to 11 inches, 12 inches anyway, so this is more than enough space. I'm out of here. Your boy So So Boston, catch the truck. Um, if you're liking these videos and the content that I'm putting out, please like, subscribe. I'm trying to build the channel up. I really appreciate everybody watching the, the content that I'm doing. I'm trying to uh, create more and, and get into more ideas, more things. Maybe I'll do some reviews on actually using these. I'm going to do a review on the A to Z press, uh, hopefully this week or next week. Y'all look out for that. I thank y'all for watching. Make sure y'all tune in to all of my other channels. Go catch the truck on Instagram. Catch the truck on TikTok. Uh, catch the truck all over the board for the website, catchthetruck.com. It's your boy, So So Boston. 
I'm out of here. Let's go, baby. We out.